Thanks for joining us. I'm Fox 4 certified meteorologist Katie Walls. All eyes on an area of low pressure approaching in the Gulf of Mexico. That will really ramp up our rain chances for Saturday. So get ready. Widespread rain embedded thunderstorms will be impacting plans starting in the morning and then really increasing right here around 12 noon. That's when showers overspread southwest Florida. As of now, the best probability for some of those embedded thunderstorms will be arriving later in the day, especially after sunset. Otherwise, throughout the afternoon. Rain will be heavy at times. Total accumulations of one to even up to four inches that could create some isolated flooding. So certainly something to keep in mind. Now again, after sunset, that's when the threat for isolated strong and severe storms will be increasing. So please stay weather aware. And before you head to bed on Saturday night, just make sure that your phones are not on silent. That way you can receive any severe weather alerts should something be issued for your location. Heading into the overnight time frame, even right here at 3 a.m we will still be in a rather unstable sector. We could still see the potential for some of those isolated strong severe cells through 7 a.m. And then by 7 a.m. basically the threats clearing out the rains clearing out, but those winds will continue to increase, and especially with that onshore flow. Those winds will be shifting. They'll be coming out of the west on Sunday, and that will create some coastal flooding concerns. We could see coastal flooding of one to two feet, so just something to keep in mind. And this model painting in the potential for some of those remnant rain showers for Sunday afternoon. So here's a breakdown of those weather threats here for Southwest Florida, both Saturday into Sunday. Wind gusts will continue 30 to 45 miles per hour. That likelihood is high. Rainfall heavy in places up to four inches are expected. And then coastal flooding, that will be a concern on Sunday once those winds shift on shore. And we could see coastal flooding of one to two feet, especially during high tide, something to monitor. As for the potential for isolated tornadoes, the greatest threat the highest instability here in Southwest Florida will be between 11 p.m. Saturday night, continuing into 7 a.m. Sunday morning. Of course, anytime we're talking about the potential for nocturnal severe weather, that does add an extra level of danger. So please, again, just make sure you do have those phones on overnight so you can receive those alerts. Cold front comes through on Sunday. Behind it, cooler temperatures build in. Notices afternoon highs on Monday, 69, staying breezy, and then those winds taper off by Tuesday.